I'm going to be showing you the location that I used for my short film and Motocon on my university project. Shall we take a look? So here is one of the beaches that I use for the main part of the film, which is the confrontation scene. Um, this was a very hard scene to shoot given the fact that it was freezing cold, it was raining, our actress had to stand out in the freezing cold in a short dress. Um, this scene that we shot was the boy giving her the apple and she had to throw up so I had to make sure that all the apples were rigged so that she could just bite into them and just be expected to throw up I guess. Um, my cinematographer was also cold during this whole scene. <laughs> Absolutely shaking to death. Um, but she took it like a pro. Um, so here, exactly, is where Chloe was stood in the film, having to throw up in this part of the water. <laughs> Not exactly the best thing to be doing during the week, but that's what you get paid for. Um, <coughs> so yeah, this was the area where she was throwing up. Every single take, she was freezing to death, had to wrap her up in a towel and um, had to make sure that she'd have blood in her mouth for each take. It took us on average about eight or nine takes to get this done, but we ended up getting there. It was also quite challenging in a way not to get all our stuff in as well like because we had to have all our stuff in this corner like and then when it was raining we had to protect all the equipment make sure everybody was fed at the same time and also Ashley was making a campfire in the background <laughs> which is now overgrown but during the time when we shot this film this whole location was pretty much dead because it was still technically in the middle of like the beginning of spring so it's really really cold but I'm glad we shot it anyway so for anybody who watched the motorcon people might remember Chloe running away <laughs> and believe it or not it's all of the bones that she ran through here but she ran through here. <laughs> but then we cut it here and I wish we used this but we found somewhere a lot better which I'm going to take you to in a minute. But the whole bit of her running away was all this. So she was practically like running down. overgrown now but when we shot it it actually looked perfect and really dark of how I wanted it to move on to the film. There's hardly any rocks left since then and it's more overgrown but the atmosphere of the film still exists here and every time I come down I can just picture my two characters that I created years ago just standing here and just seeing all the magic happen. <laughs> I still do every time I come down. So this is another location that we used for a motorcon. This was used for two different scenes. One, Alessa running away at the end. And a second scene where the boy takes Alessa to the good path, which leads to the conversation scene of her eating the poison apple. So this is what the location looks like. It's a bit overgrown since we shot two months ago. Um, so Sam literally dragged her all the way down here, so that being the good path and that being the bad path. Obviously in the film it looks like she wants to go that way, but she can't because he's leading her to that way. And also <coughs> this was the path that Chloe ran down right at the end of the film before choosing that path. <coughs> which is now all overgrown because <laughs> two months ago it looked amazing. <laughs> Obviously due to weather and everything it grows. Um, 
this is the way that Alessa chooses at the end. <coughs> Had to make sure she didn't fall in the water. Um, to get some of the shots of the water, my cinematographer Elizabeth had to go all the way into those bushes over there <coughs> and stand over, practically almost feeling like she was going to fall in the water in order to get some shots of Chloe just literally walking over this water and to go over to the other side. And then, once I get over the water, we have what I use for my garden scene. <laughs> So this is where Liz shot, practically over this area in order to get some shots of Chloe looking at the water. <sighs> and I actually love these shots a lot because it looks like as if she has to choose between going back to see the boy or whether she wants to go and take the risk of going down the dark path. So this is a path that Alessa takes to get to the garden and she thinks that if it's all good and well when she gets to the garden but then there's an apple on the ground and I left that as a cliffhanger for anybody to perceive what they want to perceive. Now this is really overgrown but this is the path that we did take. Oh, so. This is what we use for the garden. It's the rugby pitch at Lian. Um, pretty much, she just walked all the way around here. We used multiple shots of like different places that we could use. And um, I remember during the shoot that me and Liz were actually led right down here, <laughs> trying to get a perfect shot of an apple whilst Chloe walking past it, which was very annoying given the fact that there's like loads of thorns and stuff down there. Um, this scene was pretty easy to shoot, we shot it in about 10 minutes, just getting a bit of insert shots and getting the apple down and dusted and we made Chloe walk down here a little bit, it was kind of an ending shot, we was going to make her walk all the way down here but we thought instead just to cut it to the apple because then it gives it a more ambiguous cliffhanger ending instead of just Oh, she's walked away. Where is she? Is she in heaven? Is she in hell? Well, technically, the main reason of my story is that she is alive, but is she away from the boy? Which nobody actually got. <laughs> so this is where Chloe was at the beginning. Like, I'm standing in exactly the same spot as where she was at the beginning of the film. It's a bit overgrown since then because this is actually the tree stump that she actually let down on in the beginning scene. Um, and... This is the path that she walks down. Originally, wow. originally we were going to get Sam to come from over here, like in this corner, and she looks in through that tree, but aesthetic wise and continuity and cinematography wise, it just doesn't work. Um, so instead, Sam to walk through here, so we made him walk all the way through here and walk all the way down here because we thought it'd be easier to get the camera from over there and shoot him all the way down there panning it because we thought it would be much easier and it looked more effective than him hiding behind a tree and just seeing his head and then just disappearing. Um, and this path was where <coughs> Chloe and Sam both had to run down multiple times because I forgot to say cut. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I forgot to say cut because I was too immersed in the film. I loved it too much that I just couldn't say the words because I just wanted to see my characters come to life. That was it, the only reason. Um, yeah, so they had to run all the way down this path multiple times. We did different shots of this path. Um, we took one such as a close-up of leaves and then focus into them, focus pulling into them. Um, we did one of uh, them running off without panning and then we also did ones where we pan off and watch them both run a bit in the edit. Mine and Liz's favourite shot got cut out, <laughs> which was 
the leaves in focus and then both of them being in focus and running but it didn't get made into the cut for some reason which wasn't my decision um, also the film was originally shot with dialogue but for reasons of lacking in emotion apparently and apparently teacher saying act has been rubbish we had to cut it which I was really sad about but I will be doing it with sound and all the shit yeah <laughs> sorry I'll probably cut half it out um but yeah there's some really nice beautiful shots that we captured that didn't make it into the film which I'm quite sad about but <clears throat> during the process of a film if it don't work it gets cut so but overall I'm quite happy and this is all the locations that we used for emoticon um, I really enjoyed shooting here I would shoot here again but I think next time I'd rather shoot indoors because it does get quite cold also camera issues as well especially with lighting you never know what weather's going to be like Whereas in a studio, you can just do lighting. Hmm? It started to rain most of the shoot as well, which was pretty depressing, especially feeling sorry for Chloe having to be wrapped up in loads of blankets, trying to make a fire, also like having to go into a pub to stay warm. Um, it's been an all right experience. I mean, if I could do it again, I probably would, but... <laughs> Maybe somewhere warm and dry would be a better place to do it, or maybe in a studio that looks realistic, kind of like EastEnders, I guess. Um, but yeah, this has been my tour around the set of Emoticon, and I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions about any part of the film that I haven't mentioned, or any part of the location, feel free to comment or email me and I'll get back to you. Goodbye.